before you adjust any settings or start programming the QuadSig, you'll have to download the QuadSig Manager program. The QuadSig Manager program download is found on the QuadSig page, quadsig.com, under the download section. So if you scroll down and you click the QMP installer, that will download the latest version of the QuadSig Manager program. Once you've downloaded the QuadSig Manager program, plug your QuadSig into the computer via the USB cord. Once the quad stick's plugged in, double click on the quad stick manager program and it should open a page like this. It'll open under the game file section. There are other tabs in the quad stick manager program, but we'll talk about what those can do later. First, we're gonna focus on the game files tab. In the game files tab, in the left section here, you'll see all of the profiles that are currently downloaded onto the quad stick. If this is your first time using the quad stick, it'll just be the default profiles and the factory profiles that are on the quad stick currently and not, no custom profiles on the quad stick. In the middle column here, you'll see all of the QuadStick factory profiles that are available to download. These are profiles made by other users for specific games. However, these might not be best for you or the user you're setting up the QuadStick for, so you might have to make custom adjustments. Under the far right tab here, you'll see all the custom profiles that you have adjusted and downloaded onto the QuadStick. And next, we're going to talk a little bit of how to build your own custom profile for specific games and make adjustments to some of these factory profiles on the quad stick. To see the controls available for a specific game, you simply just double click on the profile that you want to view, and that will open up the profile so you can view the controls. In the right column here, it will show the control that is activated on the quad stick. So in this case, left, right, up, and down are the movement of the joystick, and right and center puff is a sip and puff control on the quad stick. In the left column, it will show the control that that control on the quad stick corresponds to in the game. So in this specific profile, moving the joystick left, right, up, and down corresponds to left, right, up, and down on the left joystick in the game. So here, just by opening the spreadsheet, you can see which controls correspond to the different controls in the game. Now we're going to talk a little bit about how to make adjustments and download your own custom profiles onto the quad stick. Like I said before, these factory profiles have been made for specific games, but each individual has different needs, and some adjustments might, might need to be made to these in order to best serve the user for that specific game. So let's say we want to make adjustments and make our own custom profile for a user. In order to do this, the best way is just to, uh, just to make adjustments to one of these existing factory profiles rather than develop our own profile for the quad stick. So in order to do that, we'll double click on one of these profiles in the quad stick manager program. Once you double click on the profile, it'll open a page like this. So I double clicked on the call of duty profile. So this is the profile that somebody made a previous user for the call of duty game. Since this is their profile and they own it, I can't make adjustments to this profile unless I make a copy of it. So I need to go up here to File, make a copy, and then I will just name it whatever I want. We'll just keep it called co Copy of Call of Duty, and we'll make a copy of the profile. Once you've made a copy of the profile, it'll open up in a new tab, and it'll have the identical controls as the previous profile. We'll talk more a little bit later about what each of these columns is and all the settings you can adjust in them. But for now, we'll just talk about how to load changes onto the quad stick. So let's say I made changes onto this profile. And I now want to load that onto the quad stick. So now that I made changes on this profile, if this is my first time using the quad stick manager program and loading files onto the quad stick, I'll need to get the quad stick extension. In order to do this, I'll need to go up to the extension section. And then I'll need to go to add-on. I'll need to go to get add-ons. And in the search bar, I'll type in quad stick. I'll click on quad stick add-on. And then I'll install it. Since I already have it installed, it won't show me the install button. But I'll click install. And then that will put the add-on. So it's available to me now to load files onto the quad stick. Now I'm going to go to extensions. Quad stick. And now that I have this add-on downloaded, the quad stick tab will show up. And then I'll click download to quad stick with QMP.
and then I'll click the blue button, download with QMP. And then I will click the file here. And this might take a little bit of time, but eventually it will pop up the Quadstick Manager program and it'll show that it's downloaded onto my Quadstick. So now the Quadstick Manager program has popped up. In order to see that it has in fact downloaded onto my Quadstick, I can go over here to the side tab and see that it's downloaded. So right here, the spreadsheet copy of Call of Duty is now the second profile on my quad stick. And down here, I can see that the quad stick for manager program copied cod.csv onto my quad stick. So now that I know, now I know it's downloaded onto my quad stick. Anytime you make any new changes to your profile spreadsheets, they need to be re-downloaded onto the quad stick in order for the quad stick to register those changes in your profile. Therefore, you'll have to go to extensions, quad stick, and download a quad stick with QMP to re-download the spreadsheet with the new changes every time you make changes to the spreadsheet. You also need to be logged in to your Google account, since this all works through Google Sheets, prior to making any changes to the quad stick spreadsheets. This video was just a brief overview of how to download the Quadstick Manager program and make changes to profiles. Please watch the next videos on the Quadstick Manager program to learn each of the individual sections within the Google Sheets, how to make changes, and what each section does, and how adjustments can be made to make profiles for specific games.